Diego. 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 It loses all meaning after the fifth time. I forgot, yes. I don't know what I got into me. I was too excited. The new patch was here. I can only apologise to the Diego fan club and the harmonica fan club. Diego. Diego. You know, it's, yeah, ruined it. Hello there, folks. Welcome back then to Glory Hunter. And since we last met, actually, lots has happened. Now, I could have brought you the earlier game against Manchester United, the game against Tottenham and Liverpool, but we play those teams all the time. So what I thought I'd do is two games against Manchester United instead of one. And the last time we met then was the 3-0 victory over Galatasaray, which saw us conclude our group stage and draw Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, that's right, Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, the team that won the league four years in a row before Barcelona recently did it. But they're top again now, so good, Atletico Madrid. Probably the toughest team to have drawn. So that's just great, isn't it? That's just great. And in the FA Cup, that other tournament, we need to win that trophy, yeah? United, which we'll play today. But in between all of that then, a 1-1 draw against Crystal Palace wasn't the best start of our run. In between uh, Blackburn, 6-1 winning, that was that was better. That made me feel like the patch was, was, was taking effect. 1-0 to United though, and 0-0 against Spurs, obviously not ideal deal before a 4 0 demolition where Diego basically told Virgil van Dijk that his career was over. So that was quite sad. He's still he's still really good at 33. Don't don't make any mistake about that. But after that Liverpool game, it set us up for a 1-0 win against Birmingham in the FA Cup, a 2-1 victory against Southampton and a routine 1-0 win. I say routine, Yuri Tillman scored in 88 minutes. Uh, so not routine, terrifying. So two back-to-back -back games against Manchester United who currently sit top of the Premier League table ourselves in sixth. I don't think the title will necessarily be this year, but if we win today, we go within just maths 11 points of Manchester United so right well it's still not great is it I think we might be safe from relegation now though so that's a positive so a little bit of squad rotation needed some of our players not fully fit for this one either and Brooks and Popper Popper came back from his injury by the way and has picked up now another injury Paul's groin won't be out for too long though but we'll miss both games today the team will be Leno in goal Bellerin Van Hoosen uh, Sandru we've got Tierney there as well Torreira and Tielemans in the centre with Smith Rowe behind Diego Lozano one side Pepe the other we're in a transfer window um, someone has actually left you can you spot them? No, I'll tell you then. The big move is that Gabriel Martinelli has left and gone to Leon for a massive £51 million. Now, of course, we could spend that money now, but I'm finding it very difficult to attract players that I would actually like to sign for me. So, so far, we've done nothing, really. Uh, Martinelli, had, he was decent for us, don't get me wrong, but to get £51 million for a, basically a fringe player... I'm going to take it. He's not going to be worth that again by the end of the season. No way. And the only player I've really been trying to sign, and when I mean really trying to sign, I've put in about six bids just during the tra January transfer window, is uh, Kick Wolf. Not just because he's got a tremendous name, but the Dutchman at Ajax looks like the perfect replacement for Timo Horn in a couple of years. We will keep tabs on him. Maybe it's the sort of thing where they don't want to sell in January and in the summer he can be ours. Kick Wolf. Great name. Great, great everything. I mean, his record this season in 16 games, pretty good. Very good. I want him. Four conceded in 16, 12 clean sheets. Bring him to me. All right, then, the first game. Let's get it underway and uh, see, can we best Manchester United in the, the, the Premier League? Now, if I'm being honest, viewers, I'd rather lose this one and win in the Cup because that will make the Cup run slightly easier. It means we won't have to actually play these boys at any point. They've just signed Alex Awobi to play on one side while hudson Adoy plays the other. Of course, a few England players in there that you'll be familiar with. Um, I say that, a few England players. hudson Adoy's there. Greenwood's on the bench, though. A few others floating around. And if Diego scores, just know that despite yesterday's calamity... I'm back. It's an early free kick to United and they've nearly scored immediately. So how are you finding the new patch? For those that are playing along with me, uh, sort of live, how are you How are you finding it so far? Feel free to leave comments. I'm curious to see. Um, I've not played a massive amount of games, around 10 probably so far since it's been enabled. So um, yeah, it's curious. I feel like I'm, I'm obviously doing slightly better, which is nice. And the amount of people that are telling me, oh Ben, imagine if it had happened while you were at Dortmund. Yeah, thanks everyone. It's too late though, isn't it? It's too late. I mean, I'm, I'm a broken man. I'm a broken man. It's a corner to us though. 31 minutes on the clock. Tielemans to put it into the centre and it falls out Torreira with, with an effort on goal. Uh, Torreira, by the way, probably the most underrated player in this side. He's not someone you look to every time. We talk about Diego, we talk about Pepe and, and Lozano, of course, but Torreira so far has got the highest average rating of any of the players in this side. Really putting in a fantastic performance so far this season as uh, United are trying to build something here as they are, uh, they're, they're being patient about it. As Diego, if it had just closed down there, maybe would have won the ball. Great ball to Hudson-Odoi though and United are in behind and wow, Boadu with... 
a finish, and it's one 0 United. Now this is this is good though. This is really this is an expedition in where we need to get to to win the Premier League. Now, of course, we're trying to win the Europa League. We're trying to win the FA Cup. We've not got the easiest routes to either of those. And the Premier League, this is the marker of where we need to be. This is how strong our squad needs to be. It's weird to say that about a Manchester United team. Just feels feels so distant, doesn't it? Feels so beautifully distant. So at half time, still 1 0 down, but we're, we're having more shots and we're probably the better team, but we've not had too many opportunities that we've seen so far. We owe them after last time. Yes, please do. Hatterin is one player that we could bring on, but he's not fully. F I'm going to risk him, actually. Smith Rowe is going to come off. Nicolas Pepe is struggling a little bit as well, so Pinto is going to replace him. Of course, we want some of those boys to play, Pepe especially, in the next game, so I don't really mind bringing him off at this stage. We'll go more positive as well. We'll, tr we'll try and put pedal to the metal and we'll get creative. We'll see if that still works. My experience has been that it does. <laughs> United though in possession once again and Jamal Lewis on that left hand side bought from Norwich is, fi is firing himself forward Hudson Adoy with a shot on goal and Hudson Adoy with a god out for as an England manager that's quite nice to see as an Arsenal manager disappointing I think he's right home as well you know I'd have come away and they've so far done the business Hataran out towards Pinto on that side who of course has re uh, re replaced Pepe he's driving forward he finds Tielemans so he's always got a goal on him I find Lozano on it now though to Tierney and this is quite nice football from us to the back post Pinto oh lovely stuff Pinto with a header across goal and Arsenal back in the game you can see it's worked really nicely actually and Pinto at that far post he's got those striking instincts of course you're normally a striker not normally a right inside forward but there look lovely header past De Gea and with not long left to go we've still got a chance not long left to go 20 minutes, friend. This is, that's not like you. I'm going to tell them to push forward. Come on, let's let's look for a second goal. All, all or nothing here, boys. Nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing they've chosen. Why would choose nothing? There's a corner. Tielemans, 86 minutes gone. Whipped in. Delivery. Comes to Sadru on the edge of the box. Can he find... Well, he, well, no. He's he's what he's done there, viewers. He's, he's he's gone into the shop. He's gone. I've got some I've got some clothes that you know we're not wearing anymore. You have them, and they've said, oh yeah, we will have them. And then as a result, they've missed the well. They've they've not put they've put their head in the wrong hole. I don't know where this has gone. Hudson Odoi corner. United forward again, and just wide. Four minutes of added time. Can I shout anything more? Push forward. Tielemans, free kick. Oh, Tielemans! Yuri Tielemans to make it 2-2. And a point, while not going to change much this season, it's just night. It's a confidence boost of viewers. A free kick from 25 yards. It's a pearl of viewers. The Hayes beaten. Give me that jumper back. I loved it, it turned out. As the game finishes 2-2. And wow, Yuri Tielemans with another fantastic strike. He's really quite fantastic. I, I feel honoured to have him in my team. He's really brilliant. Liverpool lost their game. Chelsea beaten by Brighton. Spurs held as well. So for us to get a point there, a pretty big deal. City, the big winners, won 5-0 against Wolves. And they're the team that I think will chase down United more so than anyone else. Especially as we beat Liverpool and now Villa have beaten Liverpool as Bellerin's injured for two days. Tremendous. So it's still a transfer window. Things could happen in those late stages. Uh, I have tried to sign Messi, who has said no, which is a big shame. Being in the Europa League, though, will do that, I think. All right, a few days' time, then, and we will play Manchester United in the FA Cup fourth round. As it, It's almost like a Europa League fixture. Two legs and all that. Oh, I hope we don't play them again for a replay. Nobody wants that. No one's here for that. If anything summed up our sort of attempts to beat the top six, it was that three-game period where we lost to Manchester United, drew with Tottenham, and then beat Liverpool, and now another draw against United. So we're very much out of that. We're very sort of middling in terms of where we are as a top eight team, but as a top six team, we're just not quite doing enough. Enough. And also results against the other sides have been a problem as well. Of course, the, like, the one to know is the, the draw against Crystal Palace. That's where you can kind of tell we're not quite at that level yet. They're, they're teams we should be rolling through in reality. Running a little bit of retro Dr. Benji merch today. They'll respect the equipment. A few of you have got one, you know. I think, I think they're still available. I mean, the joke was sort of three years ago now but you know glory hunter mugs if you've got yours please tweet me a picture some of you have got one so tweet me it's like these videos are sponsored by my own teespring isn't it it's a bit weird plot update by the way i'm looking at it looks happy today looks really happy i'm kind of wondering if it'll grow much bigger though because if it does then that could, it could take over the room don't want to change anything else. I've changed two players at the back. I've brought in Saliba uh, to play alongside Sadru at the back. And Hitarin's come in to replace uh, Smith Rowe. So I think I'm happy. The rest of the team is probably as full strength as it's going to be. And on paper, we're flipping good. So come on, let's have a little bit of victory. There was one signing I could have made as well, I've not mentioned, is Leon Bailey. But 100 million Dortmund, I don't think so. 
He's transfer listed, unbelievably, for 100 million. And Pepe basically does the same thing. All right, team talk's not being brilliant. A few of them are motivated, though. Both teams coming to this one in good form. How do you get your chances ahead of it massively? I don't think that's what I clicked. I clicked. I just clicked. We both like. We both look forward to it, which is not. Never mind. Oh, what's going on here? It's are they clouds or is it snowing? We've got blue lines, viewers. As Pepe scores, Manchester United can't deal with the blue lines. It's one nil. I assume this is because it's snowy, viewers. We'll see from the three dimensions. Yes, it is snowy. It looks like it looks like it's been played on Channel 5 about 15 years ago. Lozano, ball to the back post, and Pepe's there. It's more central, actually, than ahead same. And we, so we lead in the FA Cup. We're seeing it for a third time, viewers, just in case you've missed it the previous times, and he's onside. Fantastic. Okay, then, the question is, can we continue this now? And can we remain in the FA Cup? This is something to tick off that list, and I would love to get through. So far, the Cup competitions have, um, well... Mixed results. Let's just say that. Mixed results. I've won one. I've not won one. So we need to get back to winning one. Hudson Adoy on a 6.4 and struggling for fitness is, well, he's struggling. <laughs> good, Ben. Good use of like, all the words there. Well done. You're like a Thethorath, aren't you? Why are you saying like that? 1 0 to the good, though. Uh, United doing nothing. The, after the league game, they're, they're panicked. Things are going well, but we can be even better than this, I believe. As I passionately say, you weren't that bad, but I believe you've got what it takes. Come on. A bit more passion. Come on. Passion. Yes. You're passionate and you know it. Do, 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 do. That's just, I've made up lyrics there, viewers. There you are, look. Lovely. Because, I, as I say, we missed loads yesterday. There's 15 minutes. Let Tielemans free kick. There's barely any time. Pepe. Again, oh, it's gone in. Torreira. I think he's the man to put it home. And it's Arsenal 2, United 0. And it is. Torreira from Pepe's header. The ball in from Tielemans. And... Uh, the... I mean, that that obviously had an impact. They saw me on the sidelines. They're going, he's loving this. He's up for this. Let's get a goal. We're seeing it for a third time once again. And he's on side once again. Lovely goal. Lovely stuff. Torreira. Like a poacher down there. Everyone's playing quite well, apart from Diego, who... Come on! 85 minutes gone, viewers, and I think... And we'll do the draw as well if we go through, which I think we're going to. 90 minutes ticks over, and this looks like it's done. Arsenal 2, Manchester United 0, and what a set of results, viewers. A 1-1 against them in the league is pretty good. It keeps the momentum going, at least, because we're unbeaten for quite a while now. If we take a look at the fixtures, uh, you can see... If I take a look at the fixtures, there we go. Uh, you can see, since that game against the United, where they, where they beat us previously, that's the only defeat for quite a lot of games now. So we're looking really good. And if we can continue that into tomorrow's episode, which will, of course, be the games against Atletico Madrid with Blackburn in the middle, um, I'm just thinking, towards the back end of the season, Danny Graham's Watford is, my, is maybe a game that will feature, as well as a few others. But, of course, a lot of this will depend on FA Cups and Europa League. So again, this is gl Glory Hunter, viewers. We're going for glory. And uh, hopefully you're going to continue with me on the journey. The support on the last couple of episodes, by the way, tremendous. Yesterday was a double upload day. Thank you for those of you that are liking the videos. It means a lot. I've just remembered because we're doing the, the cup draw, viewers. So let's do that now. Let's go out with a bang. I assume it's on the Monday. It is on the Monday. Uh, I don't know if any other sort of bigger teams went out because that obviously is massive for us. I also, as a little tease, uh, I don't know when it'll be because I'm not sure how the fixtures work, but the England uh, team have been given their group now for World Cup qualification. We'll talk about that soon. There's some interesting nations in there. So look, they want 143 million for Wolf, by the way. It's just not happening, is it? All right, FA Cup, fifth round draw. Here we go. Uh, Team-wise, then, looking at it, it's, uh, Chelsea still in there, Liverpool, Manchester City, Tottenham. So... Uh, still not easy. All right, here we go. Sheffield Wednesday will play us. I mean, it's done. Championship Sheffield Wednesday. If two of the big boys can meet here, that'd be tremendous as they're still in the draw. Well, there's Liverpool Tottenham potential not happening though as uh, they will end up facing Everton, which is still quite a tough game. Liverpool will play Palace, uh, City, Cardiff. So and again, a pretty good draw for us really. Sheffield Wednesday, you'd expect us to do pretty well in it. Uh, where does that schedule itself, interestingly, amongst everything else that we've got going on? Um, okay, so it'll be that game there. The second leg of Atletico, as well as the game against Sheffield Wednesday. So maybe that's next episode and we'll maybe bring you the highlights of the first game within that as well. We'll do sort of a triple, sort of a 2.5 game episode, if you know what I'm saying. Um, as I said before, I'll say it again. If you enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like. Thank you so much for the support on the series. It is lovely to see and uh, yeah, I'm having a lovely time making stuff. Uh, so there we are then. That brings us to the end. With love with care. Until until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Diego. I'm still, I still feel guilty. So that's why.